Where I'm from, he's overstepped the line. I won't be shaking his hand until after the fight, because where I'm from, you have to earn it. And I'll make sure you have to earn it. He doesn't respect me, and I probably don't respect him either. It's heated, we're both hungry. He shows no respect for me, so tomorrow night, I'm going to show no respect for him. I'll leave all the talking. Now, now it's time to go to work. I'm the best man there. Oh, yep, yeah, it certainly gets us in the mood for what's going to be a big night tonight. There's been a little love lost between Daniel Gill and Garth Wood ahead of their fight at Sydney's Horden Pavilion. Joining us now is Paula Uppen to preview the, uh, the middleweight clash. Do you think this hostility will uh, spill out onto the ring? I think it will. I think this is going to translate into a really interesting fight because on paper, Daniel Gill, he's a former world champion. He should win this fight comfortably on 12 rounds over one points, but... Garth Wood, you can never write him off. He wasn't in the Contender Series. He came from nowhere at the last minute, won the tournament, knocked Anthony Mundine out. He, he's one of these guys who just takes every opportunity. And he's supremely fit. He's going to push Daniel Gill in the way. And that's why I'm looking forward to tonight. I think it's going to be a really interesting contest. I think it certainly will too. Daniel Gill now for the second time has failed to make his weight on the first attempt. What does this say about uh, his form in the middleweight? It's very concerning to me because when he lost his world title last August in Lake City to Darren Barker, he didn't make the weight straight off. He had to come back. He did it again yesterday. Now, he told me at the press conference that in August it was just one of those things that happened. It's two times in a row now. You've got to start questioning, is he struggling to make middleweight? He's 32 years of age. He actually turns 33 next week. He's not a young fighter anymore. So is the question mark on Daniel Gill, can he still make middleweight? You saw them at the weigh-in there. They look very, very light. Uh, they're <laughs> going to put a little bit of weight on overnight. But uh, there's some question marks on Daniel Gill because he's lost his last fight. And Garth Wood, look, it's really a nothing fight for Daniel Gill. If he wins, people are going to say, well, he should have won. Mm. For Garth Wood, this is a huge opportunity to knock off the former world champion. Yeah, well, certainly is the headline act. Uh, we're looking forward to that one. Also, a couple of regional belts on the line. Who are the favourites? Well, it's IBF and the WBA Pan Pacific and the Pan African belts they're fighting for. What this does is this helps with the rankings. People say, how do they work out these world rankings? So whoever wins tonight, the IBF and the WBA are going to push Garth Wood and Daniel Gill up. And that's why it's so important to Garth Wood. Not only he gets the win against Gill, if he wins those regional belts tonight, it will help with his world ranking to get a world title fight in 2014. So it's a big fight over 12 rounds. Well, of course, another uh, fight of interest is Paul Gallen. We love to see those uh, rugby league uh, players in action. He's got a tough one too. It's his first professional bout. He takes on uh, Kiwi Herman Purcell. How do you think he'll go? Look, Paul Gallen is not a boxer. He's a great rugby league player. He's a novice at best. But the thing I like about Paul Gallen, he has that determination, that win at all costs. We see it on the field of rugby league all the time. He looks his opponent in the eye in the rugby league field and says, it's my will against you and I'm going to beat you. I'm so excited to see how that's going to translate tonight against uh, a younger opponent who's got a little bit of power. Uh, he's only had two fights himself. Uh, they had a little bit of a two who, two who uh, uh, a bit of a chat at the, at the press conference weigh-in yesterday. So look, I'm very interested to see Paul Gallen. Normally, you know, rugby league players, they don't have any skills. And let's be fair, I'll be clear, Paul Gallen's not a boxer. But he's got that spark that we see on the rugby league field. And I think it's going to translate to a great boxing match tonight. Well, what's a boxing chat without mentioning Anthony Mundine? Uh, his fight is coming up. How do you think he'll go in that? Well, he had the win in January. He's going to fight the second or third week of April. He's going to stay busy. He's going to fight a Ghana fight, a former world champion, Joshua Clotty. And his plan this year is he wants to get a shot at the WBA world champion, the Cuban Erislandi Lara, who's the interim champion. And if everything plays out in the rankings the way we think it will, Mundine will get this fight towards the end of the year against the Cuban. The Cubans come out on Twitter and said, I'll, be, I'll fight you anywhere, I'll fight you on the moon, I'll fight you on Mars. Mundine's he's very happy with that. So he's got to stay unbeaten. He cannot lose to Clotty, and Clotty's a dangerous opponent. A little bit older, in his later 30s, former world champion, but it's a good test for him. And Good to see Mundine stay busy. Absolutely. Well, another uh, boxer, certainly uh, not as high profile, but Aussie Alex Leopold, he's in action next month as well. Uh, thoughts on his fight? Great opportunity against the undisputed heavyweight world champion, Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, look, he's not as tall, but he's got great knockout punching power. It's going to be Sunday, April 27. It'll be live in Australia on, on main event. Uh, so it's a great opportunity. He's going to get $1.5 million for this fight, Leopold. And if he wins, and Klitschko hasn't lost for 10 years, he's 37, he's due for a loss, he would get $6.5 million in a rematch. And that's a tremendous opportunity for Alex Leopold. And look, he's a big, strong guy, and I give him a good opportunity. But Klitschko hasn't lost for 10 years for a reason. He's a great fighter. Well, certainly a lot to look forward to, but of course a big night tonight. Can Daniel Gill get the job done? 
Look, what's we're going to see? That's why we have the fights. Gill's the favourite, but don't write Garth Whit off. It, anything can happen, and it's very interesting. Yeah, looking forward to it. Paul, thanks very much for your thoughts this morning. And don't forget, main event is the place to watch the Gill Wood fight tonight. That is from 7.30 p.m.